I didn't say anything. I got one. First fish of 2021 on the spoon. Largemouth. There we go. About a pounder. Look at that clear water, man. Look at that epic action right there. First ever fish of the year. First ever fish on a spoon. There we go. I couldn't believe it. There we go, guys. First fish of the brand new year. First time I've been out fishing in 2021. It's been pretty cold lately, so we haven't really been out here, but today we decided to come out and uh, there we go, first fish of the year. Peace. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today we're bringing you this little intermission in the winter series for something extremely exciting that just happened right now. So I'm out here fishing today for the first time of the new year. Today is uh, the 13th of January and we haven't fished at all since like mid to late December. And I come out here today with Maddie, right over there. And we're trying to film a video, just, you know, throwing around some new lures. We went to Dick's yesterday and uh, we picked up some new gear and stuff and we're kind of experimenting out here. And I caught a bass about 20 minutes ago and it was the first fish of the new year. And I'm like, okay, the day's not a total waste because we had already been out here about an hour. And then I'm like, we'll stay probably 10 more minutes. So I'm throwing a couple more casts out there. I throw right out there, guys, as you're about to see. And I hooked into the fish of an absolute lifetime, man. Uh, you're about to see everything that went down. Unfortunately, this is the heartbreaking news. I neglected to change out my battery in the camera right here. Uh, even though it was super low, I wasn't thinking we were gonna catch anything else. So my battery's on like 5% a minute ago. And I cast out there, I hooked into this ginormous fish and right as I'm starting to fight the fish the battery in the camera dies and there's really nothing I could do about it uh, because I'm in the middle of this insane fight so what happened was I hooked the fish a 26 and a half inch pickerel I landed it I got some footage of after I landed it and that's what you guys are about to see but I just cannot believe what just went down out here so you're gonna see this fish fish of a lifetime unfortunately you won't see the whole fight but let's show you this fish right now do you bring any snacks that's a fish guys oh that's a good one too a good one. Oh yeah look at him taking off guys look at that pickerel I don't know how much of the fight I got on camera but that is an absolute monster pickerel can you turn PB here is it good? Yeah. Guys, look at that fish. I don't know how much of the fight I got on camera because my battery died, but that's my PB pickerel. Absolute giant. Oh my gosh. All right, let's measure him. <sighs> Chill, buddy, please. Okay. Still got some right, right here. Right there. Okay. I'm looking right here. All right, so we need to see. Right, it's right where that little piece of grass is, right there. There. 14 so, and 26. He's 26 and a half inches. <laughs> 26 and a half inch monster pickerel. Look at the mouth. Oh my goodness gracious. All right. Here, put the scale through here. Through that little. Okay. All right, it's all zeroed out. Oh my gosh. Do you guys see that right there? 4.21. 4.21 pounds. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, we got a couple pictures. Look at that fish once again. 
I'm gonna try to do a little underwater release right here. This thing is like a alligator. Yeah, here we, we go. go. The first time I've ever used a spoon in my life. And I went to Dick's yesterday. I got a gift card from this guy for Christmas. So I was uh, using some of the money right there. But I picked up this little spoon. It's a little Clio quarter of an ounce in this like fire tiger kind of color to mimic the perch. And I wanted to use it here because I knew there's some perch in here, uh, especially in this area where we're fishing off the shore. I've caught them before, I've seen other people catch them. So I knew if we were trying to get some big pickerel today, you want to go for what they're feeding on and we're matching the hatch with this little perch type spoon right here. But man, I am so sorry that the camera died in the, right at the beginning of that fight really. There was nothing I could do. Uh, it was just insane, man. So that's what I caught him on. That's the fish I've been after for a long time. <laughs> That might be the biggest pickerel in this lake. I would legitimately pay $100 right now to get that on camera. I may never catch a pickerel that big again. That's another fish, guys. Same exact spot where I caught the last one. You gotta be kidding me. Can't tell how big it is yet. Uh, it's pretty big again. You gotta be kidding me, guys. Here it comes, I think it's gonna jump. This is another good fish. You gotta be kidding me. Oh man. Not as big as that other giant, but I don't know what this is yet. Ah, uh, it's another big pickerel. Another big one. Oh my god. Not quite as big, but <laughs> little baby compared to last time. That was in the same exact spot as where I got the last one at, guys. This is crazy right now. This one's probably about 18 inches, I'd say. I was just saying, I have never caught a pickerel out of this lake that I fish quite a bit until today. And then we catch that giant, and then we catch this one right here. Crazy, crazy day. Oh, there he goes. Maybe that's the uh, grandson of the one I just caught. So you guys saw it. That was just an insane, insane catch. That's how we want to start off the new year right there with a fantastic catch like that. And uh, on four pound line, on a quarter ounce spoon. I've never used a spoon before today. I picked it up yesterday. And I just said, what the heck, you know, let's try it. And I, I'm just at a loss for words right now, guys. The fish speaks for itself. So we'll continue with the regular uh, uploads after this with the full length videos and everything. But I just wanted to show you guys this because it was so exciting and uh, such a remarkable catch. Fish like that in Delaware are not easy to come by. I've been looking for that fish for a really long time and uh, it sucks we didn't get the fight, but I'm just so excited to have landed that fish, man. So thank you for watching. Give us a like if you enjoyed that uh, footage right there. Drop a comment below. Let me know your PB pickerel down there in the comments below. That was my PB at 26 and a half inches. My previous was 22 inches. So we went up by uh, four and a half inches right there. And again, I'm just at a loss for words. So I'll see you guys next time. Hey.